Hello and welcome back to Hold Hanley Weather. Today we'll be looking at the five day national forecast as well as an in-depth look at the major snowstorm about to affect the northeast. Let's get started. All right, let's dive into my screen here and look at the current hazards right now. As you can see, there's not too much going on. There's areas of western Washington that have a winter weather advisory. It's kind of a tongue twister right there. And there's also areas in the middle of the country through Iowa, basically all of Missouri, eastern Oklahoma, and western Arkansas also have a winter weather advisory. Over most of the west and basically all of the east coast though, there's really not that much going on. The real exciting stuff is going to happen later in the week, and we'll dive into that at the end of this video. So let's take a look at what's going to happen over the next two days. As you can see, there's a low pressure off of the northwest, which is going to bring in a cold front, and basically rain is likely for all of Washington over the next two days, and most of Oregon. As you get into Idaho and western Montana, there is a wintry mix and some snow, on southern portions of Montana and northern Wyoming. But for this time of the year, there's really not that much going on. Normally at this time, Montana is just getting bombarded with snow. And I even talked to my one friend who lives up there and he says, at this time last year, they had about 12 to 16 inches on the, on the ground at all times. And right now there's barely anything. The real action right now, or over the next two days, is going to be in the middle portions of the country. You can see that low is directly over Missouri, and that's why they have those winter weather advisories. In the southern states, you see where the air is warmer, it's mostly rain that is likely. As you get above Missouri into the Great Lakes, that's where the snow is likely, and it's actually covering a pretty decent portion of those states. Let's take a look at what the satellites look at right now. Southern California to New Mexico, pretty dry. That's pretty typical for every time of the year. What's surprising though is that basically all the East Coast is pretty clear as well. The real action is happening again in the Northwest. You see those clouds coming in from the Northern Pacific. And then in the middle of the country you see is covered in a thick layer of clouds. And those appear to actually be coming in from off of Mexico. You can see that better by looking at the water vapor. You see, obviously in the northwest, that's coming from the northern Pacific, but that water vapor, like moving into the middle of the country, that's coming right from Mexico, right over Texas. And you can even see above Missouri, it's starting to do a little counterclockwise movement. That's probably why there's going to be a lot of snow likely throughout the next two days in those Great Lakes states. Looking at the rain right now, there's some stuff going on, especially in western Washington and eastern Texas, and actually most of Louisiana as well. The real action though, as I said, is going to be happening later in the week. So starting this map, this is Saturday the 25th, 7 p.m. west coast time, so about 10 p.m. on the east coast. And you see that low is directly over Pennsylvania. And something to notice is how the winds are just streaming right off the Gulf Stream and bringing in warm air into the areas kind of near Massachusetts. And what, what that's going to do is it's going to bring warm air, which leads to rising motion, which leads to storms. And that's why this storm, I think, is going to be pretty significant for the upper Northeast. Again, that air is getting sucked off the warm Gulf Stream, bringing in warm air into these colder states. You can see this is showing surface temperature. You can see they're, right now they're covered in Arctic air. Well, it's gonna bring in warm air, it's gonna rise, create some storms. On the west side though, it's actually going to bring air down from the north, bringing some of that Arctic air down, and you can see that as we click through here some of the Arctic air begins to move down, which is pretty typical around a low pressure system. And that's where some of the snow is going to come in. Parts of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire are going to get a decent amount of snow with this storm moving in. And it's because of that Arctic air moving down on the west side of the low mixed with the storm development on the east side. 
So as you can see here, by about Monday, the Arctic air has completely moved in for basically all of the Northeast, and the low has moved off into Maine, and then the next couple slides, it moves off into the Atlantic. So let's actually look at the six hour average precip rate, where we can look at where is the mixture of rain going to be, where is the snow going to be, maybe some freezing rain in some places. So this is starting Saturday, January 25th. You can see at first it just comes in as rain. That's because if you remember from that windy map, there's a decent amount of warm air, kind of warmer than it normally is this time of year throughout the entire region. So at first it's just gonna come in as rain. As you click through, you can see, that one shows it pretty good over Pennsylvania. You can see most of the state is covered in rain, whereas some northern portions are starting to see some snow, as well as most of New York by Saturday, January 25th at about 7 a.m. That's when New York is gonna start to see some of this snow from this low pressure moving in. By, let's click through to about 2 a.m. on Sunday, at 1 a.m. on Sunday. You can see that heavier snowfall is beginning in New York as well as Vermont, whereas areas on the coast are going to see more rain. The reason for that, again, is because that warm ocean current, it moderates those temperatures, kind of holds back some of that Arctic air that's trying to move in. And then you can see by Monday, that low moves off into the Atlantic, and basically the only northeastern state still with some action is Maine. So let's look at the total snowfall accumulations expected for this storm. And the models have actually trended down from what they were yesterday. Yesterday it was pretty amazing. They were showing 20 to 24 inches in New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. They've already kicked that back and I kind of expected that to happen because 24 looked pretty extreme for this storm where there is a decent amount of warm air present throughout the entire storm. So you see this is 12Z on Saturday. Northeast is five hours behind Z time. So if it's 12Z, that would be about 7 a.m. on Saturday, January 25th. And again, that's when Northern Pennsylvania, New York, start to really see some snow accumulate. Right here, it's at, maybe looks like six to seven inches at this point. And then as you move through to Sunday, you see some of those greens start to pop in. Yesterday, those were dark greens. So I was saying maybe 20 inches. Now it's looked like they've pushed back their numbers to maybe 12 to 16, 16 being the really high end, probably just in the much higher elevations. As you can see though, most of the Northeast is going to get some snow. So if you like snow, that's gonna be pretty exciting for you if you're on the coast. I'm sorry, it looks like you're going to miss out on this one. I'd love to hear what you think is going to happen. Do you want the snow? Do you not want the snow? Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions of things I could put in my next forecast video, just let me know. And subscribe to my channel for more weather-related content. Thanks for watching.